three wire Edison circuit. Two circuits with a common neutral conductor. The neutral conductor carries the unbalanced load current. Source one, source two, here you have load one and load two. And here we have a common neutral conductor. Three wire Edison circuit. Before we start solving the values in a circuit, we need to look at a few fundamental rules. Before we start, please review my other video, Ohm's Law, Series Resistive Circuit, and Parallel Resistive Circuit. Electron flow. Current flows from the negative terminal towards the positive terminal. Kirchhoff's Current Law. The amount of current entering a junction must be equal to the amount of current leaving the junction. Polarity. Understanding polarity is important when solving the three-wire Edison circuit. Components polarity will indicate whether we add or subtract values when solving the circuit. A current flowing through a component. It assigns the input as negative and the output as positive. And here's the example. We have a resistive load. And let's just say current flows from left to right. Therefore, the input is negative and the output is positive. Three wire Edison circuit polarity. Let us evaluate the current flows and polarity of the circuit. Again, here we have the common neutral conductor. Because of the electron flow, we can say current leaves the negative terminal, which creates a negative and positive on the top resistor. And on the bottom is going into the source which gives a negative on this side and positive on this side. The neutral conductor, however, could either be moving from left to right, which creates a negative and positive, or right to left, which creates a negative on this side and positive on this side. Three-wire Edison circuit, neutral. To determine which direction the current is flowing, on the neutral conductor, we need to first evaluate the two load currents. Let's say load one was 15 amps and load two was eight amps. So based on electron flow, current has to leave the negative side. So it's 15 amps there, which creates a negative and a positive on R1. And then coming back to the source, we have 8 amps, which creates a negative on this side and positive on this side. Now we have to apply Kirchhoff's current law to this junction. Therefore, we have to have another seven amps flowing back to the source, which creates a negative and positive on this resistor. Three wire Edison circuit example. Given the following, if all the resistors are 0 0.11 ohms, load one is six amps, load two is 11 amps, we want to find the volt drops and resistance of the load when a source voltage is 120 to 40 volts. So I want to start by drawing a picture, label all my components. So 
So we apply electron flow, grab six amps from the source, creates a negative and a positive on resistor one. And then hey, back to the source, we create 11 amps, which creates a negative on the right and positive on the left. And now we apply Kirchhoff's current law, which states that now we need to have five amps heading towards the junction. Therefore, that side is positive and this side is negative. Next, we have to find the volt drop across each of the resistors by taking the current multiplied by the resistance. Now, to find the volt drop on load one, we must evaluate the individual loops. So I can take 120 volts minus 0.66 plus 0.55. Therefore, my load one volt drop is 119.89, and my resistance is now 19.981 ohms. Same thing with the second volt drop. I look at the bottom loop the same way, but this time I have 120 volts minus 0 0.55 minus 1.21, which gives me 118.24. And my load two resistance is going to be 10.749 ohms. As you can see, the polarity of the neutral will determine whether we add 0.55 or minus 0.55. Three wire Edison circuit example. Let's try another one. Given the following, if all the resistors are 0 0.2 ohms and load one is 15 amps, Load 2 is 10 amps. Find the volt drop and resistance of the loads when the source voltage is 122 40 volts. Again, start by drawing a picture and identifying all my components. So load 1 is 15 amps, load 2 is 10 amps. So again, we apply the electron flow and draw 15 amps from the source, which creates a negative and a positive on resistor one. And then heading into the source, we're gonna see 10 amps, which creates a negative and a positive on resistor two. Now we also have to apply Kirchhoff's current law to this junction. As you can see, we have 15 amps coming in from the top, 10 amps leaving. Therefore, we must have five amps leaving as well which creates a positive and a negative on this resistor. Next, we find the volt drop of each of the resistors. Now to find the load volt drops, we must evaluate each individual loops. So we're gonna take 120 volts, minus three volts, minus one volt, which give us 116 volts. Then to find the load resistance, we take that divided by the amperage, we get 7.733 ohms. Now for the bottom loop, to find the load two volt drop, same procedure, we're gonna take 120 volts. But this time we're plus one volts, minus two volts, which gives us 119 volts. Then the load resistance of load two, is gonna be 11.9 ohms. Again, the neutral conductor, based on polarity, will determine whether we minus or add the one volt. Through our Edison circuit example, let's try one last one. Given the following, if all the resistors have 0 0.2 ohms of resistance, this time we have two more. Load one is six amps, load two is eight amps, load three is seven amps. The volt, find the volt drop and resistance of the load when the source voltage is 122 40 volts. This example is a little different. We have a 240 volt load as well. So we're gonna draw everything and also identify all my components. Let's evaluate the top right side. We know we have seven amps coming to load three, therefore we must have 13 amps coming out of the source. This creates a negative 
and the positive, negative, and the positive. Now we continue in the bottom right corner. We're going to have seven amps continuing on. Joining up with the low two amperage, we should have 15 amps back to the source, which creates a negative, positive, negative, positive. Now we have to apply Kirchhoff's current law in this junction. We have six amps going in from the top and eight amps leaving. Therefore, we need two amps going to the junction as well, which creates a positive and a negative. Now we need to find the volt drops on each of the resistors. Once we have all the volt drops, in order to find the load volt drops, we must evaluate the individual loops. So we take 120 volts minus the 2.6 plus the 0.4 volts, which give us 170.8 volts. Therefore, low one resistance is now 19.633 ohms. Same thing with the second load. We need to evaluate the individual loops. Therefore, we end up with load two equals 120 volts minus 0.4 volts minus three volts, which gives us 116.6 volts. Therefore, load two resistance is 14.575 ohms. Now for load three, we have to add up the two volt drops from load one, load two, and then subtract 1.4 volts and 1.4 volts. We're left with 231.6 volts. Therefore, resistance is going to be 33.086 ohms. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet liked or subscribed, please do so. As it's an indicator that you're liking my content. And there, if there are any concerns, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.